You're watching UNICEF television. Hundreds of thousands of children and their families remain displaced as a result of heavy monsoon rains in Pakistan earlier this year. Safe water, sanitation facilities and hygiene education are critical to staving off disease. Since the floods began in August of this year, UNICEF has run close to 4,340 hygiene sessions in eight badly affected districts, involving almost 1.2 million people. Sessions are held twice a month for children as well as their families. There was no cleanliness here, and a lot of filth was lying around the tents. Children would walk around barefooted, and there was no bathing facility. People in this area sometimes don't bathe for a month. During the sessions we have conducted here, people have been made aware of diseases that spread due to unhygienic conditions. After these sessions, people have become more aware. We have noticed the change, and you should see how clean the tents are now. One of the women who benefited from these sessions is Laila Ramji. She and her family were forced to flee their village when the floods came and had to walk for miles in search of shelter. When we came to this camp, there were lots of diseases here. Through hygiene sessions, women in every household were told to wash hands with soap, keep their children clean, brush their teeth and cover edibles so that flies don't sit on them. This is how diseases were controlled in the camp. In addition to hygiene education, the families also receive hygiene kits, which provide essential supplies for families. The kits include basics like mugs, soap, toothpaste, cleaning materials, and towels. We have been taught to brush our teeth in the mornings when we wake up to take baths regularly. We have been given soap and combs and taught to wash our hands before our meals. UNICEF and its humanitarian partners have also ensured that water is being supplied to nearly 800,000 people daily. Much has been done, but more funds are vital. For the next six months, UNICEF is looking for an additional $50.3 million to cover the immediate needs caused by the crisis. Without further funding, essential help may be hard to ensure. This is Anya Baron reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, visit unicef.org. Unite for Children.